Residents in two different Sacramento neighborhoods waking to police tape and roadblocks Sunday as homicide detectives worked through the night investigating two shooting deaths that happened about an hour apart. Our officers did uh, conduct a very thorough uh, canvas last night. Our investigators are working diligently on, on this uh, investigation. The first shooting reported around 1025 Saturday night on the 5700 block of Bellevue Avenue near Carrie Ann Circle. Officers arrived and found a man shot multiple times who, despite life-saving measures, died at a nearby hospital. The second incident reported 54 minutes later at 1119 on the 800 block of Calvados Avenue. This time, police found two men had been shot. There they located a victim with multiple gunshot wounds. And while doing the investigation, they were able to locate an additional victim uh, with a single gunshot wound. The man shot multiple times died at the hospital. The other sustained a non-life-threatening injury. Although these shootings happened just about an hour and 10 miles apart, so far, detectives do not believe they are related. We're still early on at this time, but they don't appear to be connected in any way. But again, our investigators are still looking into to both investigations. According to police, statistically, we are entering a time when crime rates tend to spike. Historically, our summer months tend to be a little busier. Uh, weather's nicer. You know, more people are, tend to be out and about. And sometimes alcohol can play a factor. I'm not saying that this was a factor in, this, in, this, in these incidents. And although detectives continue to investigate the factors in both cases from Saturday night, police say they don't have much to go on. They are dealing with very limited information at this time. Uh, they are looking at all angles. We are encouraging any witnesses that may have in information on either investigation to please contact the Sacramento Police Department. In Sacramento, Tish Palmadesi, KCRA 3 News. So far, the Sacramento Police Department has not released the names of the two victims. Last night's homicides put Sacramento at 16 for the year.